Hi, welcome back. Today I'm having a very quick look at Ginger software. It's great for grammar and spelling errors and it checks your whole document. First of all you need to download Ginger. And to do that, go to the gingersoftware.com website, which I have here on the right, and select the download button. Now you can buy the premium version which gives you so much more options such as personal trainer, rephrase and speak back. So it's definitely worth getting a premium version. But the free version you can download is pretty good as well because it does your grammar and spelling checks for you. I think it's limited per weekly to how many it actually does but then it resets itself at the beginning of the week and you can start using it again. So let's have a quick look at it. So once you've downloaded it, it will then install a plugin into Word. I'm using Word 2013 here on the PC, and you see the right hand corner I now have the add-in, which is the Ginger Spell Checker add-in. If it's not showing, click on it, and you'll get this option at the top here, which you can drag using the left mouse button left and right. So let's have a look at my documents. So I put the cursor at the beginning of what I want to check. Now, if a quick look down there, Word hasn't picked up any error spellings or anything there. It's got one down the bottom there, want, but that's all I can see. So, I want to click the grammar button with a left click and see what happens. As you can see, it's checking it and it's found an error and it's given me an alternative. So, if I go to the top here, you can see you can collapse parts off, you can collapse parts off. So there is a grammar problem there with off with two f's. So it's given the alternative. Now if I actually click on the off here, it will then give me another option. Of course they both sound phonetically the same. It give you a it give you a context of how to use that word in a certain sentence, as you can see there. So really worth doing. So that's definitely an error. So I'm going to left click approve. It will then approve in a document and carry on checking. And again, you can see another grammar error there that Word didn't pick up. This time, with were. So again, if I want to, I can left click on were. And then it gives me the context of how to use that word. Because sometimes when you use phonetic words like where, off, in practice, they all sound phonetically the same, but if they have different meanings, it can be quite confusing. So this grammar check is really helpful. So again, if I'm happy with that, I'll select left click on approve, and then it'll carry on checking the rest of my document. As I say, it's limited to so many checks. I'm not sure how many. After that, it will still do your spelling errors for you. Free. It won't do a grammar check. And there you go. It will check the rest of my documents. So I'm going to click cancel. So it sits up there quite nicely. Now if I actually click on it, hover over it. If I go to the right and left click settings option. You have a setting option here where you can personalize it for yourself. For example, which dialect you're using. Launch it on hotkey F2 or you can change it to whatever. Font settings, change your font settings there and select your font. You can also start with Windows automatically or turn on live corrections as you're going along. I prefer to have that off. You have support there as well. I click on the second option there. You can use the translator. Third option has a dictionary company and it gives you a synonym for company then you can choose which one you want by ticking on it you can add new words to your dictionary and you also add a tutorial that you can watch as well which I'm going to click skip so it's definitely worth getting a premium version but as I say the free version works pretty well as well for a quick grammar check and also to do your spellings